Hello guys, welcome back once again. And in this video, we will be looking how to create an uh, HTTP server. Mm. The previous video we have seen about bandwidth server, how to create a bandwidth server. Now, let me create an uh, HTTP server. For that, just click the source title new server. And the com dot. Mm. And the class name is um, server. And it's defaultly extends the class HTTP server. And uh, here we can do the description of the server, the URL pattern. If we need to change the URL pattern, we can just change it. Let's do the server. So this will create the server. Uh, and in this about the server, we will be not going for the web.xml to configure it because um, there is a concept called annotation. And in this, by the help of this annotation, we will be specifying the information about the server to the server. Which is fine. Uh, and HTTP server will defaultly extend the generic server so that it works all the necessary methods of the generic server and also the other methods of the HTTP server. HTTP server has different methods such as uh, do get, do post, do put, so um, we will directly move the move to the different and we will directly move the different and we will understand what are the things. What are the things. And here it is auto generated the do get and do post method. And already a generic server has a method called do service. And let us see the difference between all the three methods when we use this. When there is no HTML request for a server, it will directly invoke the method of do get. The same thing in Inchiser, how to support it, of that. To import the necessary files. This is so when I directly run this on a server. It will exit it will invoke the do get method. So this is do get method. Okay. We already created a JSP page. Um, and let me paste the form over the form right over here. So this is equal to post action equal to this service. In that we press and submit button. Where the same code? This is post. Okay. Let me run the interface the JSP page. So after submit after hitting the submit button it will invoke the post method so this is the post method in the same way we can change the method to get if you need to invoke it this is to get method As I said earlier, uh, can use the service method right over here in the HTTP server too. Um, what happens if we override the service method in an HTTP server? Let me they create a service method right over here. Okay. 
هیچ So when you as a CRA it invoke the duplicate method, but if we override the service method, it will the server will be invoking the service method but not the duplicate method. In the same way, if we run the Intersha JSP and we give the method as post, even though we gave the method as post, but we are going to override override the method service. It will be directly go and invoke the service method, but not the do post method. And these are the different methods can be used in our server. And the next video will be looking how to get the parameters of the the JSP page uh, to the server. Thank you. Just like subscribe.